Hello there, I'm looking at the work of Dion Arbus and the book is In the Beginning. Hello and welcome to the intro to this video. I hope you enjoy it. This is Untitled Photo Thing and I'm Pete Carr. Dion Arbus. She was an American photographer based in New York and she did uh, most of her work during the 50s and 60s. Unfortunately in 1971 she committed suicide after suffering with depression throughout her life. She started as a fashion photographer with her husband and got more into doing her own personal work. She was really interested in uh, photographing marginalized groups and was passionate about highlighting the importance of proper representation of all people. She photographed couples, children, carnival performers, nudists, middle-class families, transvestites, people on the street, zealots, eccentrics and even celebrities. Yeah, so let's have a, uh, let's have a look. I have to admit I have had a flick through this book um, and I picked out some of my favourites. So, a lot of strong work. Really you know, nicely done book. Yeah, that one's just astonishing. Unfortunately, because of uh, you know, YouTube guidelines and whatnot. I've had to cover this photo up, which is really silly and real shame. But I don't want to get my channel banned, so sorry. Yeah, I love the light in that picture. Love the expression. Yeah, I love that picture as well. So why did I connect with her work? Well, I, I come at it from an autistic perspective and I found the idea of doing photography with uh, non-verbal communication really fascinating. You, know, you can see in this picture the doors closed and everything. She hasn't kind of chatted to the people. She's not close enough to. And yet when she sort of asked their permission and calmly and quietly just taken the photo and uh, it's really quite something. And and again with this one, uh, you know, she's uh, turned around in the seat and taken the photo. There's a um, contact sheet that shows that there's another frame just before this one, I think, where the one's looking out the window. And she looked back, and I don't know what the time is between the frames, but there's clearly some communication going on there. And um, to do it non verbally, it's just, it's kind of empowering to know that I don't have to be perhaps the best speaker. You know, I can still be a good photographer. And well, she's taking the time to do it slowly and kind of get the person's consent and permission to, to press the shutter. Because yeah, that woman could have easily just held her hand up or done something to indicate, but she didn't. And it's such a strong photo. Yeah, you know, it just shows respect for the people rather than kind of just, I don't know, doing it a different way. But I don't think I've ever really connected with someone's work in this respect. I've seen so many street photography books and portrait photography and things like that, that you kind of in love with the moment and the light in the picture and stuff. And you know, you want to take pictures like that. So you go out with your camera and you kind of take pictures like that and stuff. But I think there's maybe a hint of ego and everything that you want that photo and that style. And you forget the people are actually, you know, these people are alive in this photo. They were alive for this woman taking the photo. And you have to treat them with the respect of that. They're not your playthings in your own universe. Yeah, amazing pictures. The book is great. Uh, I could highly recommend it. And it's not just the photos, there's um, a lot of stuff at the back. There's some good text about her work, some notes and stuff from the exhibition, behind the scenes slides. Oh, there's the um, two frames that I was talking about. So it's a, you know, it's a really good introduction to her work. It's kind of so much imperfection in the photos and I really love that. You know, look at that. I'd not be happy with the photo if I took that. And uh, that's a problem for me to fix. Yeah, it's just, that's just fantastic. 
it's such a shame that I had to cover that up because there's such a, an openness and honesty to the photo. It's sort of so relaxed and matter of fact and everything. It's a really quite beautiful photo. And that one is just, uh, just amazing. And just the expression on the woman's face, pride and the joy, it's fantastic, really fantastic. So what did I learn looking at her work? What she's saying to me is it's totally fine to be an autistic non-verbal photographer. It's not often that I'm non-verbal, but there are times when I just shut down and can't say anything. So her work is sort of saying to me that it's okay, I can still interact and I can still communicate, I can still be a photographer, even if I, I can't speak. I can, I can still say something. And I find that really empowering. I think she's become one of my favorite photographers. She doesn't want to make me want to rush out and buy another Leica and so I can play at being Gerald Marowitz. She wants me to be okay with myself and that my issues shouldn't hinder my work. Incredibly inspiring. She's not just photographing the amazing people, she's uh, photographing all kinds of different people and respecting them, showing all kinds of sides of society. It's my favorite photo. That's fantastic. Ron's amazing as well. I do love that one. That's such a photo. Kind of torn between that one and the one on the bus. And there's a lot going on there. Beautiful lights and stuff. Really strong character. Technically, the, the light in this one isn't as nice, perhaps. You know, it's not like soft daylight on an overcast day. It's obviously sort of taken indoors and stuff. But still, I mean, you can see it. You, you can see that this woman is really glowing. It's really a very powerful photo. I'm gonna go with this one. Fantastic work. So yeah, totally recommend getting this book. So there's a lot more to it. Uh, there's notes and things. Uh, kind of behind the scenes stuff, uh, contact slides. There's a lot, a lot more to the book and I would highly recommend buying it. So yeah, it's uh, Diane Arbus. If you get a chance to see the exhibition, it's well worth seeing. The way they present the work, uh, it's just absolutely stunning. It's sort of, there's no route around the exhibition. It's just uh, you kind of wander the streets, essentially. It's brilliantly done. Yeah, so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.